Disclaimer, you may find this video boring. This is a more laid-back style of commentary where I ramble on while skilling in hopes of perhaps entertaining others while they skill. This is skilling banter. Hey guys, this is GoCoJ4. I know I'm a little bit late on this, but, uh, dungeoneering skill. What do you know? They, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try not to do much of a rant on this, but I'm just gonna say that they should also make, by this logic, a Soul War skill, a Stealing Creation skill, and a Castle War skill, because those are mini-games too. But yeah, it kind of annoys me how they made a mini-game into a skill, but that's not what this video's about. I'm actually going to do a uh, a solo run or two of Dungeoneering, and <laughs> really because a few minutes ago I was uh, going into a solo run, and I got pissed off so easily. But not like in a pissed off quit the game way, more like in a pissed off yell to screen eat your biscuits out loud way. So I thought it would be funny to just record my my uh, exaggerated reactions to, to playing this game. If I could find the freaking door, where's the... That, that obviously doesn't work, so I guess I have to go downstairs. I'm new to this game, I'm only level 5. So, cut me some slack. Well, you know, I'm gonna have to lose all my XP, because I can't find a way back in. But, my character falls down, Asian man sits down, and we're gonna... Ah, you know, he must be in a party, of course. I have to make my own party. Open party interface. Form party, and there we go. Party all by myself, or I the popular kid. Now, what I do is, because, you know, I'm soloing, but at the same time, what I'm going to do is make the complexity as high as possible, because of the fact that I want the most XP. That's only, uh, prep. So, here we are. And, alright, farming is included, herb lore, I don't even know what that means fully. But we'll pick up all this stuff. And, uh, van braces, I guess there's some, yeah, some raging stuff, blue crab, short bow. Just gonna bear with me while I pick up all this crap. Really, not that much food. I got a lot of ranging gear. Last time I got melee stuff, so I get. I guess this is the the, the ranging run, right? Uh, certainly getting only range stuff right now. Hopefully, that won't affect my ability to beat the dungeon without. Uh, falling short. Now let's just, I, I don't even know this stuff, to be honest. I'm completely new. I've only done a couple of runs. So let's just see what stats are the best. That's got range 81 bonus, 43. Uh, I imagine that sword bow is better, but I guess I'll... Right, let's see which better. Ziffman. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Ziffman. <laughs> arrows versus Katagon arrows. Okay, these are better. I don't even know. Um, and I have like five pieces of food and vams. Let's just do this. See, do I have to repair a door this time? No, guardian door. All right, this looks uh, legitimate. Last time, the first door I had to go through, I need level 83 smithing to get through, and I was just done. And it pissed me off, and that's what inspired me to really just make a video when I tried this out. I'm doing forgotten, taking this forgotten warrior right now. And um, I, I guess I'll use my prayer. I don't want to get hit. I don't have armor for, for a reason. I don't know why it is, because uh, I'm still new to this skill. But when I was in a party, the, the first few times I did this game, this skill, I was at a party and I got like a whole bunch of gear in the beginning, including armor and stuff. But solo, you don't get much. I guess it's because you know, not only the enemy levels uh, change when you only have one person, but so does the amount of gear you get. Cause hey, it's only one person. But we have a forgotten warrior here, and he doesn't want to die. He's only hit me once, I believe. I'm 976 HP, so there you go. He's dead, and um. Hey, we got a Winter's Grip. That's actually a lot of these things in this game are pretty cool, like the uh the way the armor looks and the equipment looks, they should definitely update the rest of the game to look like that. Like if herbs looked more like if they're more if they are a little bit more individualized, you know, if they were like different burn flammable doors. Alright, I need a tinder box. This is where complexity comes in, right? I actually have to bring skilling. I'm actually gonna learn my lesson from this. I'm gonna buy like an axe, a tinderbox, a hammer, a chisel, whatever I can get so I don't have to come back to the smuggler guy who's smuggling things from the general store. At the general store. But, <laughs> aside from ripping off of the noob show, I just wasted all my money on that. Crap. Buy the hammer, buy the tinderbox, I better have enough money. Buy the knife. Crap, I'm out of money. Alright, well, oh, I, think, I think I could sell him stuff. Okay, I could sell him stuff. I just remembered. Uh, sell him. Sell him the arrows that I don't need. Yeah, I have some GPs now. Okay. 
This is definitely good. This is, um, this is certainly good. Let's just, just buy everything that I can. Buy some feathers, buy the rod. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm covered for, like, any, by thread. I'm pretty sure I'm covered for, like, any, uh, any possible kind of obstruction that can come my way. And I do have 80 plus every skill in the game, so I should be able to, well, every skill except for this one, but this isn't really a skill. Um, I'm not going to go into that once again. I don't want the comments to be all about how this isn't a skill, although it's inevitable. It's just, you know, that's what the rant forums are. Just don't, please don't, please don't start arguments about that. That crap. That's what the rants are for. So here we are. Ooh, the Hydra. When I first saw the Hydra, I thought it was kind of cool, but now thinking about it, it's kind of lazy. I believe the Hydra ranges. It's kind of lazy to just recycle the same exact monster. It's the same size and everything. It's the, it's the familiar. Which is kind of, I don't know. It doesn't look very good. I mean, I wish they could have, they could have overhauled the graphics a little bit or something. Done something to change it, I mean. Eh, whatever. I don't have to cry about that. That's just one monster. What's the big deal? See what he dropped. Blue charms. Uh, seed. I don't know if you can farm in this mini game. I don't. I, I can't imagine how, how I would farm in this game, but I guess you can at some point. Once again, this is a noob. I've only done it a couple times. Cut me some slack. A couple weeks from now, I'm gonna look back at this video and be like, "What was I thinking? I was such a noob." You know, when I'm 99 in this scale, or 120, excuse me, because. 99 is not difficult to get it enough to get in the scale and here comes the purple healing 50 all right um <laughs> these monsters always take so much longer to kill when I'm doing commentary it always seems it always seems that way doesn't it uh I don't know what to pick up I'm just gonna pick up my arrows I guess because I can definitely I'm gonna run out pretty soon uh, I don't I don't really care because I'm probably just gonna leave after this oh infused pouch Wait, let's see what kind of pouches I can make. Just regular stuff? See what I can... Oh, what? Wow, this is actually... Cool. This is actually a completely separate system of familiars. This is pretty cool. I actually never knew about this. But I highly doubt I have any of those secondaries except for the most basic ones. So I really don't need the help. We're just going to move on. Try to find that red key for the boss room, right? I believe that other door was the boss room. Uh, kill this guy right here. Ooh, I need a yellow key to get through that door. This is the puzzle. It's like the most complicated puzzle ever. The door is yellow. How can I possibly open it? Maybe it's the yellow key that sits in the middle of the freaking room. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it's like we're not retards, Jagex. You don't have to treat us that way. <laughs> oh, no. Excuse me. It's not in the middle of the room. It's off on the side. But, you know, it totally still shows up as a red dot. You know, just to, just to make sure we don't get too confused. Because, you know, <laughs> the average Rootscape player can't solve a Zelda puzzle and everything, or everything. You know, something as difficult as a Zelda puzzle would be way too complex. That's unheard of. But, i uh, eat my eel. Every time I see that purple, I think I'm getting hurt. And I'm like, oh, this minigame's weird. It shows me healing myself. But, either way, we're gonna go through here, see what's in the next room. I like this feature. You can see what's in the next room. Obviously, just a fishing spot. But, let's actually try it. I am 99 fishing. I should be able to get it relatively quickly. See what I can get from here. Although I don't see any fire anywhere. I don't think I can actually cook it. Yeah, Aurora Cave Moray. I obviously need a purple key to get... Oh, I have a purple key in my inventory. Got it in the beginning. I never never remember that. Forgot about that. But we're just going to move along. And see what's in the next room. Hopefully not that gluttonous behemoth boss. Okay, good. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Stegomastix. Stegomastix. But I have a rule. Uh, it's actually become somewhat of an inside joke. I think I'll I think I'll bring it to s begin to spread it to my videos. If if anything is difficult to uh, to pronounce, and it has more than one syllable, syllable, you know, you know what a syllable is. You're not stupid. Jagex thinks you are, but you have to put a little at the end. So this would be a stag. After the first syllable, you just gotta kind of just gotta force it out a little bit and not really read it. So that's a stegomethula. And it's just walking around.